Because of something I'm not going to discuss in this video, this day has already been the worst day of my life. And yeah, coupled with the fact that we've went down, we, we, we've we went out into the Europa League in that sort of fashion. It, it's just unbearable. It really is. Drama throughout, anything but boring, which is what we've been called rightly so throughout the season. But, you know, credit to Wolfsburg. They did play some exceptional football, but so did we. Some of the best we've played this season going forward. We were unlucky. We had shots blocked off the line. We had brilliant saves from their goalkeeper. We had just a bit of unluckiness, like that bullshit rule where if a player's standing offside, blocking the goalkeeper's vision, even though he's dived perfectly anyway, it, it's just... It's bullshit. Matt I was in an offside position, but he didn't touch the ball, and I'm sorry, that isn't interfering with play. But Dante and some other player go to the linesman about five minutes after the goals actually went in, and then it gets overruled. It's bullshit. It started off so well, Martial gets a goal, Matt I deployed in the number 10, plays a lovely through ball. First thing he's done in a few games, so it was nice to see Juan actually doing something, because he's one of my favourite players, but Martial slots it in. All things are looking brilliant. Four minutes later, though, four minutes later, Naldo scores a really nice volley for Wolfsburg, levels it up. Wasn't too worried, though, because we were looking like an attacking threat. But shortly after that, things get even worse, and we managed to concede with probably the best goal we've conceded this season. It's lovely play from Draxler and God knows who else. But yeah, it manages to go through, and they score 2-1. Wolfsburg go ahead, and things are just looking really, really bleak for Manchester United, but then we get that goal that I'm on about, Lingard, it's a lovely goal, should have stood, but it didn't, so uh, yeah, at half time we're losing 2-1 when it should have been 2-2, that would have changed the dynamic of the game, maybe, might not have, but surely 2-2 is better than 2-1, anyway, we head into the second half, it's a bit of a slow start, we have chances though, Memphis has an overhead kick that's um, blocked, you know, Flaney has a chance blocked off the line. It just doesn't look as though we're going to score. I think Memphis has another free kick that's like inches wide. But then eventually we get a corner and it, it's Fellini who heads it in. It, it rebounds off one of Wolfsburg's player. Loop, players loops the goalkeeper 2-2. And at the same time, we hear that CSK have had a penalty. Actually, I think this was before our goal. But anyway, CSK get a penalty. They score it against PSV, which means no matter what happens in this game, we're going to get through. And then what happens? We concede again after scoring. So it goes 3-2 about two minutes later, and uh, yeah, it, it's another good goal by Wolfsburg, 3-2, and then PSV equalise at the same time, and then they get a goal to pull ahead, so that would mean that we needed two goals to beat Wolfsburg, and it just didn't happen. We had chances, but nothing was going to go our way, and in the end, it didn't, so we're ha going to have to look forward to those banging Thursday nights on Channel 5. We should give it a go. We really should give the Europa League a go. We're in it now. What's the point? It's a trophy. All right. It's a trophy. What's the point in not giving it our all? We can win it. I know it's not what we want. A club of our caliber, it's embarrassing. It literally is embarrassing being in the Europa League. But that is the situation we find ourselves in. We might as well have finished fifth or sixth last season. And shit, I'm getting Skype. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll sort that in a sec. Right, sorry for that Skype call, but uh, yeah, right, I'll finish the video now, but anyway, basically, we might as well have finished 5th or 6th and, yeah, not even qualify for the Champions League, because what is the point? We're out now, we're in Europa League, which is what it would have happened last season. I know it's a process, alright, and Louis van Gaal sorted out a lot of stuff, the midfield, the defence, but surely we should be doing better than the group stages of the Champions League, and Louis van Gaal's first Champions League year, I'm sorry, that is, that is a failure. We failed in the Capital One Cup against Middlesbrough, a team that were battered by Everton. So that's two failures this season. One more, and the season's over. I mean, you look at the, the league table, all right? Two or three losses, we could be down to sixth or seventh, the way the league's going. Two wins, however, we could be top. This season is just... It's mind-blowing. Leicester are top. They're breaking records. We're out the Champions League. Chelsea are fighting relegation. It's bonkers. Like, what? who the hell predicted this? You cannot predict what's going to happen. But one thing that must happen straight after this, we need six points against Bournemouth and Norwich. If we don't, then it's just more failure. It's more disappointment. And we're in danger of slipping out the top four. And that's something that just cannot happen. So... Yeah, I could ramble on about so much, all right, and I, I don't know what to think about Louis van Gaal. I know that he's, he's put a good system in place, and I know if we get a manager, they'll build on that, and I'll be thankful for what Louis van Gaal has accomplished. There'll be people who say he's, he's accomplished nothing, but so now defence, that was as bad as it was, 
Yes, we conceded three today, but that's the problem. We can't find a balance between defence and attack. There's still a lot of work to do. Can, do I believe Louis van Gaal can do it? No idea. Personally, I would get Pep up Angelotti at the end of the season, going off what happens, unless Louis van Gaal can win us a title or the Europa League, which we need to win now. Like we, ugh, It's just ridiculous. How are we in the Europa League? It's embarrassing. It really is. But before Arsenal fans get too hyped up about this, like other fans, obviously, Man City fans will be loving it. But yeah, Arsenal will probably join us in the competition tomorrow and maybe even Chelsea. So at least we'll have a fuck ton of English teams. That might help the English coefficient. But anyway, I'm going to end this video off. I'm just depressed as fuck, honestly. Like, ugh. So yeah, take the piss if you want. But yeah, peace.